guys. So I've got a 1980 Bombardier Everest 500. I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your track tension on the torque reaction slide suspension. So what's great to have a nice workbench like this and a nice socket set. Now sockets aren't the greatest, or you'd be best off with open end wrenches, but I don't quite have all of them, so I just use adjustable wrenches. So What's also great to have some nice knee pads to get down on the ground, unless you have something down on unless you have something down on the ground already. Um, so let's grab my tools. Done. Now always make sure your suspension is off the ground. See that? It's nice and off the ground. A couple inches clearance at lowest. Got a cinder block, a couple bricks there. So, now, first thing you're going to undo is you're going to loosen the idler wheel nut, which is this nut right here. Don't need to back it off all the way out, just nicely. Do the same on the other side. Now the track, you'll see it's gonna be clearing the side well you can't really see it, it's a black slider. We'll go to the other side. So with this, you can kind of see the clearance between the bottom of the slider and the track. At its lowest point, at its greatest clearance between the slider and the track, you should have about 13 millimeters clearance. So, 1.3 centimeters. Okay, so that's just a little bit more than my liking. That's about 2 centimeters right there. So, we're going to adjust it. Now, backed off my idler wheel. Your idler wheel nuts a little bit. And the next thing you're going to want to do is in the axle. The adjuster, nut, the adjuster bolts right here, there's a locking nut that you want to back off. So, back off that one, back off the locking nut on each side, and then loosen a couple times, loosen the actual adjuster nut on one side a couple times, and go to the other side a couple times until it's backed off a little bit. Okay, so I backed off my idler nuts. You can see it right there, kinda. Backed it up. Now I'm not gonna back off my uh, actual adjuster nuts yet, or I'm actually not gonna do it because I don't really need to. I'm just gonna go right to tightening. So um, now your pinky is 13. It's supposed to be about a centimeter, top to bottom. So. I just use my little pinky plus a little bit and then I can estimate what 13 mil what another three millimeters looks like so you can see that's about two two and a half millimeters at two two and a half centimeters at uh, at full so um, I'm just gonna go right to the, uh, my adjuster nuts so with this you can't really get at it with a with a socket, so because uh, the socket's too long. So yeah, just use an adjust just use an adjustable wrench. Now you should be able to see the track a little higher. Once I'm once I'm tightening it. Now the bottom of the slider is right there. Marks that. Now you don't want to do too many sides at once. You should be doing a couple times on one side and a couple times on the other side. 
because you don't want your axle to be your rear axle to be out of line. What you can always do is just grab a tape measure and measure from the back of the mounting, the back of the actual bracket that mounts onto your runner, and then and then measure to the head of the bolt, to the top of the head of the bolt. Now you probably saw the track move a little bit, and it's still just over it's maybe 1.7, 1.75. Um, centimeters, so I still got a little ways to go. Now, I'm going to go to the other side and tighten it up. So, now that I've got my track all tightened up, you can see it's just about 13, millime 13 millimeters. I've tightened it all up, now what I've got to do is tighten my adjuster nuts, uh, not my adjuster nuts, my locking nuts, that are threaded onto the adjuster nuts, and then uh, I'm done. Net, well, not quite, but I'm almost done. So, right now. so, my adjuster bolts are all tightened up, nice and ready to go. I've got 13 millimeters each side, I just measured. So, uh, now all I've got left to do is tighten these idler wheels, and I'm good to go. Now, what I've noticed is what you can, what you can do if your idler wheel nuts are, if your idler wheel nuts are uh, a little bit tight, a little bit hard to get off, you can use liquid wrench super penetrant uh, to tighten them up. Just give it a little dab and, a li and then uh, have a wrench on it and bang on the wrench to give it a vibration. Now what's really great to have is this little nozzle. You can put it from this can, this super liquid wrench can, onto a WD-40 can. Now WD-40 just lubricates it. When you put the, when If you want to take the nut right out, you can just take the nut right out and then spray some WD-40 on it. That'll, keep, that'll make it easier to get it out next time you go to it. So, so you can spray liquid wrench on any on your idler wheel nut if they're a little bit stuck, your adjuster, your adjuster bolt if it's a little bit stuck, or the locking nut so if it's a little bit stuck. That's, that's, that, that makes it a lot easier if it's really stuck. Now what's also really great to have is a little Shop manual. This is a 1983 shop manual, but it covers uh, an Everest 500. Um, so yeah, but the, the Everest the Everest 500 was pretty much the same thing. 19 1980 when it was when it first came out when Bombardier redid their line of snowmobiles to I think 1984 when they stopped making them, if I'm not mistaken. All they really changed was, you know, the seat design, the hood design, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, torque reaction slide suspension was there was the standard suspension in 1980 to, like, 1990s uh, sleds, so. Yep. And then, 1983 shop manual, that's something you can do. Also, the shop, the owner's manual. The owner's manual covers some of this stuff. Not as much, but it still still works. So, there you have it. Uh, if you guys need parts for any suspension components, you guys can go to Royal Distributing. They've got snowmobiling stuff like galore. Big warehouse stuff. They specialize. Well, all these, there's a bunch of little tabs here. Snow apparel, helmets, eyewear, MX apparel, casual, electrical, clutch and drive, traps and suspension, brakes and cables, intake and fuel, windshields, skis and steering, engine parts and performance, traction control, lug luggage accessories, tools and trailer, lubricants, and ATV and moto. So, they do mail order, they've got, they've got a store, they've got a warehouse store in Sudbury, one in Innisfil, one in Guelph, and one in Whitby. They do, and mail order is probably convenient. Same day mail order, so any parts of the right now. So now I've got everything tightened up and everything's good to go, and I'm ready for some riding. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any snow, so I have to wait a little bit. But otherwise, there you go. Please like and subscribe.